Santa costumes for your mini felted dogs. How do I make that? Hi, it's Pam Duffy and it's a Thursday so that means it's another needle felting tutorial. Every Thursday I make videos just like these so if this is something you're interested in don't forget come back every Thursday. So it's almost that time of year where everything's getting festive and it's a great time to dress up your little dog sculptures to make them into Christmas ornaments and one of the simplest ways is to put them in a little Santa coat. So I just wanted to show you how I make this little coat for my dogs. Now you can use any type of felt for this coat. You could make your own needle felting a flat piece. I would use a stabbing cushion for this. Just needle felt a flat piece of fibre or you could buy some pre-felt, you could buy some wool felt or I'm just using acrylic felt from the craft store. It's a reasonable price and it's a good enough quality for what we're looking for. So let's have a close up and see how I made this. First of all we want to cut red fleece into the shape that you're looking for. This is a kind of cape shape. What I do is measure up roughly from the base of the dog's neck all the way down to the start of his tail. This measurement's going to be slightly different for every dog I make depending on the breed and what size I'm going for. So just measure up against the actual dog that you're using. Folding the, folding the fleece in half gives you a chance to get a more symmetrical cut with the fold being the centre line of the coat. And I want to figure out the length I want the coat to be from the top of his back, from where his spine would be, all the way down to his sides. And then the rest's going to be a wrap around the front. So I'm cutting these arms. Now you could do this separate, I just find it neater to do it all in one piece. So I'm just curving that edge slightly so that it's going to wrap around his neck. And that's your coat. The fantastic thing about this acrylic fleece is that it felt onto the wool fleece really easily. So I just pop this on and felt it in place where I want it. Felt it nice and firmly through the join at the neck and then if I feel the need I can felt it onto his body a bit. And then to secure it even more and make it look far more Father Christmassy. I'm just felting a black belt to go around. So all I do, again with another strip of black fleece, I cut it about a centimetre or two wide and long enough to go all around his body. And then I wrap it around his body, trim it underneath so that there's not too much overlap and then felt that overlap and felt around the body as much as I feel the need. And then to make the white trim, which of course shows up on a darker dog even better, but this little white kitty was what I was working on at the time. All I'm doing is getting some beautiful snow white roving that I have, and I'm taking a strip that's longer than the length around the dog's neck, and I'm just loosely felting it, twisting bits over and kind of fluffing it up as I go along to get a nice, like a fur collar for the coat.
and that's all there is to it. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you. These simple coats really bring new life to your little dogs and they look great as little Christmas ornaments. Because the felt is so light, you can attach a loop to them or even tie some ribbon around them and hang them off a tree or, and use them in ornaments in that way. Or they stand lovely on a fireplace or anywhere else. So I hope that was helpful for you. Don't forget, if you like things like this, click on my wee face and come back every Thursday. Thank you so much. <laughs>